This is Charlotte, North Carolina. Serving a population of 1.1 million people, a network of light rail lines connects this U.S. city, servicing 42 stations across Charlotte. Consisting of two lines and 23 miles of track, the system travels across the city, with trains radiating from downtown to various suburban destinations. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. Charlotte's modern light rail network began to form in August 1996, with the opening of the Charlotte Trolley running three days a week west of downtown. Starting from a station at Atherton Mill, the line ran east to Stonewall Street, making five intermediate stops along the route. Seeing high ridership, trolley service was expanded eight years later in June 2004, with a three-stop extension taking the line further into downtown. At the same time, operation of the line was taken over by the Charlotte Area Transit System, and service was expanded to run seven days per week. Two years later, in February 2006, construction work began on the line to allow for its conversion to light rail, necessitating the suspension of service. The station at Park Avenue was also permanently closed, and various other stations had their platforms relocated. One year later, in November 2007, Charlotte's first light rail line was launched, sharing much of its route with the trolley. Starting from a new station at Interstate 45 and South Boulevard, the line ran north into downtown, servicing 15 enhanced stations. Trolley service resumed on a more limited schedule the following April, serving many of the new light rail stations along its route. However, two years later in June 2010, trolley service was discontinued, resulting in the closure of the four trolley-only stations along its route. Streetcar service in Charlotte resumed in July 2015, with the launch of the Gold Line. Meeting with the Blue Line at the Charlotte Transportation Center Arena Station, the route traveled south to Hawthorne and Fifth, making four intermediate stops. Trains on the Blue Line were extended in March 2018, bringing service to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Eleven new stations were serviced along the route, including a stop at the former trolley station at 9th Street. Finally, in August 2021, an extension of the Gold Line was opened, adding 11 new stations at both ends of the route. At the southern end, a two-stop extension brought the line to Sunnyside Avenue while a northern extension brought service to French Street. The extension includes a stop at the future Charlotte Gateway Station, which will provide connections to Amtrak trains and intercity buses running across the country. This brings us to the Charlotte Light Rail map that we know today. That was the evolution of Charlotte's Light Rail Network, giving us the two lines that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our Evolution of the Network videos on other American cities, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground, until the next one.